I just got back from seeing my landlord. My rent was due. But yeah, I didn't um I can't afford it basically, so I had to go see him and we came up with a little arrangement, so that's now sorted for the rest of the month. Thank God. He's so sweet. He's uh she's a whore. I earned thirty thousand dollars this week alone from doing OF. Now I don't normally share my income and what my income looks like, but you know what? Tonight I'm going to. I've been getting so many comments like this, so many DMs saying that I'm faking it, I'm not making money, I'm not worth it, all this crap so i am going to prove to you what i've earned over the last seven days running my spicy business here is my main account and up here it states what i've earned over the last seven days i'm also going to show you the date which is here of these earnings this one here is my no pp v page once again these are my earnings over the last seven days and here is the date that i have created those earnings the website pays USD, but once it hits my Australian bank account, it equals to $30,000 for the week's work. Now, I want to point out that this is such a reflection of how hard I work and how much I absolutely love what I do. Yes, the money is great, but it's not all about the money. I absolutely love running my spicy site and I love the people I get to meet. I love creating the content. All of it to me is just so, so much fun. And before all the negative people can jump on and say, you are such a bad example for young people, you are teaching them to get into the wrong industry. Let me say, yes, this industry is not for everyone. It absolutely isn't. And does it require hard work? Yes, it does. Can it be really hard sometimes? Yes, it can. But that's like any other industry. If you do your research and you think it's right for you, then it's an incredible platform to be able to do what you love and have fun and earn great money. Anyway, I'm not here to gloat. I'm not here to brag or prove myself to anyone. I'm literally just showing a little bit of insight. I know there are still going to be people out there that absolutely hate what I do, that don't believe and all of this. I'm not here to change your opinions. I really, really don't care. I'm not here to change any of that. I'm just here to give a bit of insight into what a normal country mum can do uh on this platform because i know there'll be so many other people out there actually interested <laughs> she's a whore okay what is up bitches i know that you guys have all been asking me this question so i forget let me just make a video about it and be done and done about it uh you guys have been asking me how much money have i made on my spicy page so guys okay it is now coming up to three months that i've had my spicy page and let me tell you, yes, I do custom requests for people, but um, now that it's going to be three months in June, I'm going to tell you how, exactly how much I've made. You want to know how much I've made? I made a hundred dollars in three months. Okay. So it is not as glamorous or not as easy as people say that it is. Uh, but I also have my subscription set at a very low rate. I have it set at $6 and also don't forget that the uh, page, the spicy page also takes a percentage of it. <laughs> excuse me which is 20 percent that being said i take home the other 60 percent um and i have my subscription set at low i have it set at six dollars and i believe that this is a good price for me because i am very new into this industry um yes if you are thinking about starting one of these pages i absolutely condone it i absolutely am here a hundred and fifty thousand percent behind you guys and yes i think you should i think it's a great way to be able to make that side income um if you're not shy about it and i am starting to become a little bit more inquisitive about my sexual side um and i think it's really good because you become more in touch with yourself and i feel like it really raises your confidence <coughs> 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 Ladies, as an escort, allow me to tell you something. These men are a fucking joke. That guy you're obsessed with, go go through that phone. Go through that phone and find any text message of him talking to a sex worker. Only fans. Anything. You won't like him anymore. Because we, we, baby, we hear and see it all. And let me tell you, you will not look at that man the same. The same man you're obsessing over, laying in bed, waiting for a text back. Yeah, he just paid me. I thought he was a loser. I couldn't wait for him to get the fuck out. He said the most embarrassing things. He didn't want to shower. He asked me for unprotected services. Oh, and he tried to haggle prices. Ew, that's who the fuck you like? And it's not old, ugly, greasy men. Shut the fuck up.
shut the fuck up. That's a stereotype. All ages, all races, sexy as fuck, different backgrounds, different jobs. You don't know who a man is unless you've seen how he interacts with a sex worker. Let me tell you something. The most clean cut businessmen are asking for me to do some very wild things. It's very wild things. And I'm getting paid for it. And you're doing all that emotional and physical labor for free. You. <laughs> you think you love that man? Go through his Instagram. Find those DMs. Hard eyes. Hard eyes. Hard eyes. On so many bitches who will never talk to him. Ew. Do you not have the ick, majorly? You're a whore. Did any of you guys miss that? Take a closer look at what's on her chest. Gross. She gets funded by desperate simps. And this is what simping does. It gives women money for being 304s. The problem with her evidence is we can't see the time period she earned that money because it's blocked by the comments she's responding to. Also, why does she hide what play she's in amongst other creators? It's all probably fake. She tried to excuse herself from the bad example she promotes to younger women. But what's even worse is she's a mother and she prides herself about it. Good luck to poor little Timmy who has to go to school and get bullied for her life choices. I truly believe these 304s have no sense of responsibility. Yeah, they're trash. She hit the wall and decided to destroy her own life for $100 in three months. That is approximately $33.30 per month. Not only that, she is also encouraging other 304s to do exactly the same. That is fucked up. How can this chick sit there and talk about having the ick? Her whole life is an ick. She's bashing all men who paid her to smash, but she is the one who is selling herself to get smashed in the first place. She thinks she's doing women a favor by telling them all of this, but she is the one who is facilitating it. She doesn't care that she is the one who is getting her back blown out by married men and men in relationships for money. This proves that 304s can be so entitled and delusional that they can judge men while also keeping a straight face without acknowledging their own messed up behavior. So the next time a 304 judges you, remember, she probably has so much skeletons in her closet, a whole cemetery lives in there. I wouldn't be surprised. Real men of genius.